Hello and welcome back. It is your host, VLD. Let's get started. My iPad Mini 6 is my favorite always go to device. What is the best foldable keyboard out on the market right now? I have one that is hands down the best with the best trackpad. My first foldable keyboard that was my favorite was the iClever BK05. That still is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, it only has micro USB. I don't really deal with that anymore because I don't like having multiple cables. Moving forward to one of my other favorites, the Bow foldable keyboard. Hands down, hits all the check marks for myself. It's small, it's compact, it has an excellent build quality, but the trackpad isn't the best. It's good, but it is not the best. Moving forward to the Avato foldable keyboard. Overall, it's an excellent keyboard, not the best build quality, but it does have a better trackpad. The switches underneath are better for clicking, selecting, or dragging compared to the bow. That is the only advantage. What would happen if you could combine both of them together and have the best of both worlds, the best features of each one with a fantastic build quality and having the best trackpad? Through the link to Amazon, there are two products, one for under $40 do not buy that. I'm not sure why they have two separate products under the same listing, but go for the one on the left, go for the one for $50. The one for $40, avoid that one because that keyboard is not this product. This is a foldable keyboard from a company called Arcity. You can pick this up right now off Amazon for $50. Inside the box, you have the keyboard. You have a brown fabric carrying case a USB Type-C to Type-A charging cable, the instructions how to connect everything, a plastic foldable stand for your phone. You have to ask yourself, this product looks quite familiar, but where have I seen this product before? Once you open it up, you are greeted with a familiar foldable keyboard. This is just the Bow foldable keyboard with a couple changes. It's quite familiar, but at the same time, there are a few new features that do make this stand out. It looks exactly like the one from Bow. If you flip it over to the backside, it does not have the branding. Why would I pick up the same exact keyboard? It looks the same. It feels the same. It functions the same, but it does have a slightly updated paint job. There are characters on it for Apple users for their shortcuts instead of just being for Windows. Three yellow keys for Bluetooth pairing, and they did update the trackpad. It feels like the switches underneath for left and right click seems to be a little bit more satisfying. I'm not sure if the switches are better or if it's just me. So with the original Bow keyboard, you had to click more into the corners and not so much in the center. Here, it seems like they fixed it. And for myself, it is worth the upgrade. Clicking, dragging, highlighting text, scrolling with two fingers works even better than the first one. All your basic gestures do work. You do have a fake two fingers pinch to zoom. Swiping up will open the app tray. Swiping down with three fingers will open up multitasking through iOS. Three fingers swiping across will open up what apps are open and you can switch between them. And four fingers will give you screenshot. Doing my usual typing tests yields between 40 and 50 words per minute. You have scissor switches underneath, so typing is quite pleasant. At the end of the day, I do like this keyboard. If you already own the Bow keyboard, you have to ask yourself, is it really worth upgrading? For myself personally, for having a better left and right click, I feel it is worth picking it up for that, but that's just me. So I do like this product. It is the same thing as the original Bow keyboard with a new paint job and with a slightly better trackpad with left and right clicking. Like always, it's VLD. Stay classy.